Is this it already? Eight weeks. Two whole months. And I'm already washed up. I have so much more left to do, but I just... I just don't think I have it in me anymore. I guess I should just shut the channel down and think about what to do next. Wait! Don't panic. I am you from the future. I come with a gift and a warning. You can't stop making videos now. I am from a timeline where you gave up here. Without your guidance, anime fans will continue to make poorer and poorer consumer choices, driving the world of anime merchandise to ruin. I only have like 80 subscribers. The bootleggers win, Twister! Do you want that? Oh, well, no, not really. Good. Then take this and don't give up hope. I may have given up on merchandise a long time ago, but I never gave up on this one. They delayed and delayed her, until Alta finally released her in 2046. I thought you could put her to better use than me, and change my dark future. Here. Oh, wicked! Suzuha? She finally came out last month after I've been waiting for like, a year. I've been really looking forward to reviewing this one. Good. Then my work here is done. Well, that was odd. I think the postman got a little overexcited again. Hardcore drugs can do that to a person. Anyway, it's been a long time coming, but here she is. The part-time warrior herself, Amane Suzuha, in 1.8 scale with a mountain bike. Designed by Huke and sculpted by Mura Osami and Namakura Toshiaki. Her hair has got some really nice detail to it. I especially like these little extra bits going off in slightly different directions to the rest of the bonnet at the top here. It gives the hair as a whole much more three-dimensional look than if it was just a blob of brown on her bonds. The gravity-defying braids confuse me somewhat, though. She's leaning on her bike, not moving, so why are they shown to be out in front of her like this? Braids tend to be quite heavy, too, so they probably wouldn't flap around much even if she were moving. To top it off, unless she'd just taken a really sudden sharp break, or she's cycling through a gale-force wind or something, they wouldn't go ahead like that anyway. They'd go the other way. It might just be a thing to make the character more visually engaging, but she's impressive enough without floating hair, in my opinion. She's got this cute, vaguely surprised to see us look on her face, probably because we've just caught her sneaking a quick slurp of her Dr. Pepper when she should be getting to work. Either that, or she's just as confused by her levitating locks as I am. Taking a closer look at said beverage, we can also see the high level of detail that's been put into her jacket. The drink also adds a surprising level of character that you don't see in many figures of this scale. Though I am impressed that she's managing to keep a hold of it while maintaining balance in that pose. Before I get onto the real star of the show, let's talk about the pose. It's kind of hard to look at it and not notice her posterior. It's kind of all the way out there. It's literally like someone's trying to shove an oversized peach into my face. Loving the cycle shorts though. <clears throat> Anyways, despite her apparent need of a chiropractor, her pose is very dynamic and much more interesting looking than if she were in a more neutral pose. PVC can't get uncomfortable, you know? Now on to what is, in my opinion, the main attraction to this piece. Do you remember when you were in school and you used to play with little finger skateboards and finger bikes? Maybe you still do! Either way, Suzuha's bike is practically just a massive version of a finger bike with pretty much the exact same range of motion. Obviously it's a little stiffer than that or it'd be flailing around all over the place. The level of detail on this thing is phenomenal, it genuinely looks like a real mountain bike, only really far away. Every last detail, even down to the gears, prop and brakes have been captured with impeccable quality. It even says, it even says Suzuha here, look, isn't that nice? The base is pretty standard, nothing really to say here other than she comes with a little stand that goes under her bike to help prop her up. It's really handy actually, as she can be a bit of an arse to set up. Once it's done, you can just take it away and you're golden. And there you have it. Though although I wouldn't say this wasn't quite worth waiting over a year from pre-order to receipt, the level of detail and quality in both Suzuha and her bike are pretty staggering. Definitely worth picking up if you get the chance to, whether you're a fan of Steins Gate or bikes. This girl is fab. <laughs> Where we party all the time. Stand up straight so you can see. No, I will 